Greetings, all you maniacs from Mindstar Grinds. Welcome back to another Warframe video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Rhino. You could say this is a ins and outs, but at the same time, not really, because I kind of don't care enough to make an ins and outs on Rhino because he's so simple and he's not like any of the frames I've, I've covered because he is really simple and, well, I don't like him that much. But. Someone in the comments, or many people in the comments, have been asking for a Rhino build, and I assume they want a Rhino build that can handle Steel Path with no problem. Spoiler alert, you don't need Rhino for Steel Path. You don't. And honestly, he's tanky, but he's not Neja. Uh, anyway, so this is the build. Zero Forma. You don't need a single Forma in this motherfucker. If you want to, go ahead. But this is uh, when I use Rhino, which is once in every five blue moons. Um, this is the build I run. I used him in the Scarlet Spear event, and that was like the most I used him. Uh, but I used Mirage more because Mirage was just better for it. Uh, because of her damage and all of that. Anyway... Yes, this Rhino build can take on Steel Path. It can take on anything in the game. Basically, any frame can take on anything in the game with absolutely no difficulty. Because this game is not hard. Uh, the only parts of the game that would be somewhat challenging would be like the Orb Mother fights, the Eidolons, which who cares about Eidolons, they're garbage, uh, and Steel Path. But even then, there's ways to just absolutely destroy steel path enemies and uh yeah the only way rhino is going to stay tanky is because of ironclad charge wonderful so let's just jump into steel path i don't really need to explain anything else and i'm not entirely sure if arcane guardian works with him all right so pro tip for all rhinos out there do not press 2 unless you're getting shot. Let the enemies hit you, just like Ninja's, Ninja's 3. And look at that, my iron skin's already gone. And now I have a syndicate to deal with. Yeah, that's my biggest problem with Rhino. People put him up on this pedestal saying he's like uber tanky but you have to jump through so many freaking hoops to actually make him super tanky and it's honestly pretty sad i don't know it's just probably because he's so old yeah neja really is tankier in a lot of ways and also neja has shield gating i mean not that it matters too too much but yeah, I know 90% damage reduction doesn't sound as good as complete invulnerability, but the way the warding halo works, opposed to iron skin, it's it's like its own barrier. I don't really know how to describe it other than that it just works better. And yeah, the, the Kuva comb is still insane. The Sidu has not throned it. I'd say they're on par. Yeah, look at all that armor that I have, but maybe I just need more duration on my build. Why does Ironclad Charge even have a duration? Really? Like, are, are, are you are you kidding? And yeah, his stomp's cool. But with Neja's 4 and his 2, you can spawn a lot of health and energy orbs, so there's that. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll stop trying to compare him to Neja. I'm very biased because Neja is my favorite frame. But, I mean, come on. N Neja is more fun anyway. Yeah, look at that. 97k, but look how quickly it's going down. Yeah, Steel Path enemies hit hard, but... You know why? Because it's ferret armor. 
And I'm pretty sure a lot of these guys tend to do puncture damage. And also adaptation does not work with uh, iron skin. So that's that's another big problem. So warding halo, Nezha's warding halo. It's basically immune to everything. It's not like ferrite armor or alloy armor. And yes, Rhino is using ferrite armor. So if you get into a sortie when the enemies have corrosive damage, well, your armor is going to get melted. Or even heat damage. But, you know, Rhino is kind of helpful for big bosses because he can be kind of a wall. Um, and support the team by giving everyone extra damage. But honestly, Trinity is just a better support for that kind of stuff because energy she gives, damage reduction, healing, all that. Now, I'm not saying Rhino isn't tanky. He is. He he can be a he can be an absolute wall, but it's just. And look at that, Ironclad Charge, I had a better charge, and then I removed it. Ironclad Charge is great, by the way. Um, yeah, Rhino, Rhino is just showing his age. It's not really his fault. It's just that DE won't rework some frames, but I don't think Rhino needs a rework. Uh, if anyone needs a rework, it'd be Hydroid and Frost. Hydroid and Frost. Rework those two from the ground up, Pablo. Yeah, this is pretty effortless because, I mean, it is. But, I mean, it, it is kind of boring, to be honest. Not really doing much other than just doing that. And using melee every now and then. Yeah, you see how quickly my armor is going down. Can you not... Yoink away my sh my fucking gun, dicks. Ah, eh, whatever. Personal biases aside, I don't think Rhino is a terrible frame, but I sure as hell think a lot of people that play him are pretty bad. I know it, it, it's kind of an asinine thing to say, bad in Warframe, lol. I know, but most of the time, the the people that die in like arbitrations and stuff are Rhino players. I'm not. I'm not saying it's every Rhino player ever, but it's most of the time. Or maybe someone that's just like memeing, I guess. I don't know. It, it's just what I've found through observation. Life support activated. We'll see what happens with Acolyte. Life support has been replenished. All right. Now, what acolyte is it? Angst. Okay. And yeah, Rhino Stomp will actually uh, freeze the, uh, the acolyte in place. So that's neat. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? Nora, please shut up. I want her to have new voice lines. I'm tired of hearing the same voice lines now. Especially the really long ones. I'm like, just just stop talking. <laughs> well, I don't think I need to go any further than that. Because I think I've proved my point. Yeah, Rhino works. He works. That's all I can say. He just isn't that exciting for me to play. I like frames that you know you can strategize you can do different things with um Nez is very versatile mag is a whole lot of fun to play zaku is a lot of fun you know frames like that and so we learn the importance of where they're not just like a one or two trick pony i'm not saying rhino is that because obviously Rhino can be very versatile. He could be a pure tank, or he could be a pure support, or he could be both. Um, but honestly, 
Trinity is a better support, and I think Trinity is actually tankier. Uh, Trinity is really, really hard to kill, but again, that's just my personal opinion. Do not get up in arms about someone's personal opinion on Warframe. Just don't. Anyway, yeah, I don't think Arcane Guardian works with Rhino's Iron Skin. Whatever. And Arcane Gracer as hell doesn't work because he doesn't take damage. Uh, so, this is just a setup I use if I play Rhino, which is extraordinarily rare. I got his uh, set, I bought his set for like 150 plat um, a while ago. Before the Scarlet Spear. I think like a month before the Scarlet Spear. So I've had him for a while. Uh, I have some of his relics, I think. But, whatever. The normal Rhino will work basically the same. Uh, uh, but, the only real difference is you won't have the polarities as the Prime has. And uh, the Prime does have more armor and health. Or is it just armor? Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, overall, is Rhino a terrible frame? No, he's not. He works. He's good. He's fine. Do I think that he could be better? Oh, yes. He could be so much more fun to play. My real big problem is the way Ironclad Charge works. Because it shouldn't have a duration. It just shouldn't. Or the duration should be doubled. Because without Ironclad Charge, his Iron Skin just gets absolutely melted. It's honestly really funny how fast his Iron Skin gets melted. Um, and augments should be optional. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it is optional. If you're not going into Steel Path, and it just works just fine. But, I don't know. That's just my two cents on it. Rhino is an okay frame. He's okay. I'm not about to put, you know, the Umbral mods on him or anything like that. I don't really ever play him. I might play him if I go after Pro Profit Taker, or I might just play my Chroma or Trinity. But other than that, nah, I don't I don't really play him. Then, then why did I get him? Well, for Scarlet Spear and for any events like that. I think he's great for those kind of events. Because he can tank and he can give everyone damage. So, that's cool. Uh, but, I don't know. Also, I just kind of wanted to collect him. Just, just, I'm going to have every single frame in the game eventually. I'm going to have every single prime frame. Uh, but, I don't know. He's only okay to me. I'd much rather play Ninja. Ninja is so much more fun. And a lot more versatile. But that's just, that's just my two cents. If Rhino's your favorite frame, I don't care. That's fine. We all have our favorites. And that is what's beautiful about Warframe. Different strokes for different folks. There are... There's fucking 47 frames. Jesus Christ. So, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, in Troby, we trust.